The light of a bygone afternoon. Yeah, I recognize it. Everything yellowish white. Everything curving around itself. The writhing vegetation. The branches in the trees rub against each other. The trees are eroticized, and they touch each other's bark lewdly. Nature succumbs to love. Palm trees shaking and nodding. Gardenias move off their faces in joy. Clouds manifest human-like shapes and fuck in the sky, gently raining down. The colors all have numbers and voices. Bass purple nine, contralto red thirty-three. Bees arrive, precise and identical. Some of the cacti are in juicy bloom, suggestive pink fleshy protrusions. How did I arrive here? Through the mirror, which was soft and hazy like cotton wool, or a slight gentle resistance. Jim sitting in his other world. Jim with his huge blue beard. Jim with the swirling, changing hair. Jim under some other sun, sitting, thinking. Ice cold beer and Mexican weed. Writing some poetry in his book. We are flames. Morrison writes, and we burn eternally inside cold white cages. The system with its spears. Girls come and stay intent on sleep. Girls from Nevada and Utah and sword. Little honey melts in my car. I pull up outside the Blue Sky Motel. Her luggage with snake gun. The cops drift by in their movie tone dream, tasting mum's apple pie and bomb Alaska. Later in the pool in the cool night, as she sinks almost lifeless, sharks circle with one thousand ideas. Her fingers touch their weeping eyes as they devour her. Softly, monsters, she seems to say, as I turn the key in the door of room thirteen, unlocking a past. Your father appears in his flannel suit, making polite conversation as I sit on the bed watching you shower. Out there, L.A. pulses with sick, unaffordable force. I know you," says your father with his soft voice. "What do you think?" Jimbo asks me, as I read over his shoulder in the garden, and his technicolor hair swirls a dayglow vortex. "Yeah, it's great, I guess," I hear myself say, adding some lilac to his hair that flows away like a rippling wave. Under the eddies and currents of his wild hippie poet hair, the air charges in full of purple and orange light. Electricity crackles and discharges. The garden is in a frenzy. The clouds turn big and black as they rut above. Thunder claps. Jim sits there, his hair blowing wildly, his black jacket with the collar flap, his black T-shirt against his pale skin. He turns and stares at the rain and wind. And he looks like a wild Elvis or Elijah. I try to freeze the picture, and the mirror cracks deep. Shards of sky with blood, blue and red. No reflection. <laughs>